Hi guys, Demonic Angel. Today I'm going to do uh, some stoner stories because I logged on this morning um, packing a bowl and having some coffee and I saw that I'm pretty close to 420 subscribers. Uh, I think it might be 418. And I was like, you know, what great timing. So, uh, you know, I, I just thought it would mix things up and just be a little bit different. Anyway, I've got three stoner stories to tell you. The first is that uh, I, I love Halloween. Um, I'm, I'm born pretty close to Halloween. I'm not going to... Okay, and then, like, I'm, I sit on that kind of um, precipice, if you will, of Libra and Scorpio, somewhere where those two are kind of, those energies are still really mixing. So I suppose it might make me a little bit of a complicated person. Um, but my birthday is, um, you know, very close. I love Halloween anyway because I'm a witch. And, um, yeah, so what the way that that kind of plays out, I guess, in my normal life is that I still ha have, like, w um, Halloween kind of decorations in different rooms in my house. Um, I, I still wear, like, Halloween clothes. Um... And it's not, it's not all the time. It's kind of like this really um, once in a while kind of mood for me. But I'm, I imagine, well, I guess I didn't really think about it too much. But uh, not too long ago, I was walking um, with uh, my partner and our dog. And I had on a, a Halloween shirt. It was like a cat. And he was uh, chilling on the moon. And he uh, had a, like a witch hat and a p pumpkin, whatever, like for the harvest. And then uh, it was kind of cold, uh, which is um, kind of unusual, uh, at least to be that that cold. So I put my dog in a in like a sweater, and I put him in a like a jack o' lantern sweater. Uh, sometimes I put them in like Christmas sweaters, I guess, or um, I have like goofy ones, like ones like a four-leaf clover kind of a thing. So this poor dog gets dressed up by me all the time. I really have babied him. I treat him like a human, probably, and uh, I don't really feel too bad about that since dogs wanted to be friends with us humans all those years ago at the last Ice Age, but that's like a different story, so... Uh, th but this lady, she has a bunch of douche hounds. Uh, that's what I call them. She has them too, and she dresses them up. So we run into her, and I I'm sure she's like a hippie, a stoner. But when when I, I she saw my dog and me, she started laughing because it's it's February, and so she like started like choking laughing because here I am with my dog. I probably. I mean, it probably looked stoned. I probably looked like I'm weird. And she was just cracking up laughing like, here I am with my dog dressed up for Halloween. And I didn't even really think, like, it was just like, today I really, you know, that's the way I want to express myself. So um, I'm going to wear Halloween stuff today. And I went out and gave that lady a good laugh. She didn't choke to death. Uh, we, we all had a good laugh. And... Um, she just said, after she kind of recovered, she goes, really? Like, about, you know, the, the dog dressed up and, and me. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, another part to being, uh, to marijuana that is kind of a slowly, slowly this other um, part of my life is that my father, he is, as of now, still a, a minor, um, and he, for a, for a long time, he was choosing to, to continue to work because it kind of keeps him off of drugs, uh, prescription pills. So he'd rather do that than just sit there. 
So, um, but, but as of the last couple of years, he's had um, ulcers. A lot of that kind of is, I mean, a lot of it is his own fault um, for not properly feeding himself or taking his things like diabetes medicine. And he'd take, he would take these um, pills, like without food, uh, probably to get more of the, the, you know, the high off of them. But it would really, you know, it's, over the years it's really messed up his stomach. And um, he wasn't feeling well, like, uh, pretty recently. And they told him, we're going to have to have hip surgery, hip replacement surgery. So he's actually um, somehow still working. Um, but he's put in some paperwork um, to start the process of, um, I think, getting on whatever people do, Social Security, retirement stuff going. Um, I'm, you know, so I'm not sure, but if, when that really comes, when that comes, because I'm not sure when exactly that'll happen, when that time does come, um, he, he's told uh, me that he wants to get off, um, you know, prescription pills, opium, and, and not just, like, sit there and, and um, just be on pills. So, and it would help with his appetite and these different things like that. And for a long time, my mom was af afraid of that, that if he was like stoned and, and taking pills that he would, um, that it would somehow impact him negatively. But I, I've, I've kind of talked about her, about this with her off and on over the last few years, like, you know, I understand he's at work and, and they're doing uh, drug tests for, it, it, of course, at the time. At the time it was illegal, at the time it is not, it, it's, it's legal. So things have changed in that way, but um, to just get, get him going um, with that. And, uh, but of course, like I said, I had to kind of wait. So, so I started to grow my own, um, my own weed. So it's a white widow, and, but it's the auto flowers. And it's, so those are just, um, they grow a little bit smaller, but they still, they still yield a lot. And it, it's just, um, it doesn't take them quite as long, and they're not, they're not so sensitive to um, ha not having enough light uh, that where it's just feminized seeds. What, you know, they need uh, specific types of light. Um, and there's all kinds of things. Actually, you know, my partner really, uh, he did a, a lot of the research on it. Um, I think part of that is he, he really wants this, this to happen for my dad because he's, he's seen, he's seen, you know, he's been, uh, to some of the, you know, his, his worst moments. And, um, so, so yeah, it's actually been, been going pretty well. Um, and, and we didn't, I just didn't tell him at the time that I've already been, I was already growing this. I just... I just decided, kind of my philosophy with making iced coffee and everything, like, fuck it, I'll try to make it myself. Um, you know, if I could do it at home, I'm probably going to try the do-it-yourself stuff. Um, but, but yeah, once I, once I figure out that that's all, all set in stone and that's really, like, what he, he is gonna, going to retire, um, I'm basically going to give him a bunch of weed. I'm going to make... Um, I'm going to make little tinctures and probably put them in gummies, you know, because I don't, I don't think that he needs to be smoking, um, and hurting his lungs just with the problems he already has. So it would probably be a better option in this, you know, situation to do that. And, and, uh, yeah, it, I, I, um, I'm also going to <laughs> take care of him in a way where, um, uh, over the last the last couple of years, I've really gotten pretty decent at cooking, and uh, every time my dad would come over, he he eats pretty well. Um, I make some good food, as as uh, as I've showed you. Uh, too bad you can't really taste it, but it um, I I make some hearty meals, and um, you know that's 
I'm going to uh, just have uh, basically him or my mom come over, um, pick up a, a really nice hearty meal that's something that tastes good left over, something that you can make a lot of, and um, send them home with a bag of uh, weed, if that's, that's kind of what it's looking like. But I've already been cooking for him a little bit, just trying to get him to eat better. And, um, and so, uh, yeah, I, I, my dad, even though he has like all these, these problems, um, I really love him. He, he tried his best. Um, he's, he's a very, uh, deep person. And, um, and essentially I just feel like honored that I could take care of him in this kind of a way because uh, because he's been there for me and also that's kind of you know this this deeper this deeper issue there with uh, with us and, and our ties through reincarnation so I, I just want to encourage him to stay a little bit longer get him healthy uh, stay as in live here on the, the physical plane and you can't always control things like that, you know. But but if if I have the chance to um, manipulate that, and I let's just say I let's just say I help him stay a couple more years because he does have so many problems, then uh, that'll be a real. It's going to be really rewarding for me to have that the rest of my life. Um, that that um, that really is a resolution. If you think about it, like, um, there are, and, I, and I, I personally know from experience, there are so many people on the astral plane that they, they wish they would have made amends with people or they wish that they didn't give up, you know, they would, would have tried harder if we're talking about pe people with uh, addictions and suicides. Um, they kind of get that perspective of knowing how, how much trying ma means, and so... Um, that that's the absolute best thing to do is even even when life is kind of miserable to give it um, some give it some meaning because that'll matter and you can have that with you in your kind of personal akashic uh, record if you will um, and uh, and so yeah kind of a I, I, I suppose a bizarre rant as usual but uh, yeah, then my last, my last story, maybe I'll kind of cut this and make it its own video, we'll see. But, um, so Willie Nelson, I don't, I don't remember, oh yeah, I was, I was, um, researching some Buddhist stuff, and, uh, basically, uh, Willie Nelson's name came up for some reason, and I was like, okay, I started reading about him or something, it's just kind of, uh, that was kind of the mood or whatever at the time. And when I I looked him up, I I knew Willie Nel Nelson smokes pot. I mean, everybody knows Willie Nelson smokes pot. But um, w Willie Nelson is actually way, way cooler than, than that even. He, uh, he had a lot of problems in his life. Um, kind of grew up poor in the South and um, when, when he was still a, kind of a younger man, I mean, he's, he's, all, oh, God, what is he, almost 90, um, that his son committed suicide, and that got him to thinking, um, but his, his son died of, uh, you know, whatever, he was having alcohol issues, and then he took his own life, because he couldn't, um, he couldn't fight that battle any longer. Uh, so he, Willie Nelson had a, a lot to think about, apparently, and he uh, converted to Buddhism. Um, so, yeah, he uh, he also talks about. There's plenty of interviews um, where he's he looks at Taoism and, and Hinduism. So from Hinduism we get, you know, reincarnation. And from Taoism, we kind of get that, that looking at the duality aspect of life and death, yin-yang, male-female, and so on. Um, 
And, and so I just thought that was really cool. I did not know that Willie Nelson uh, converted to basically Buddhism um, and, and that's kind of that he really tries to live his life that way. What else is really cool about him is he's not just alive on accident. Like, um, he had some problems with his lungs and he actually got some stem, stem cell treatments for his lungs and then he quit, he, he quit smoking just pot out of like whatever he could find and he does this kind of uh, special type of uh, whatever he smokes out of that removes the heat and the smoke so that you know you're not damaging your lungs, lungs because even even you know pot is obviously way different than nicotine, but still smoking anything, um, burning burning your lungs is still going to you know irritate the, the the lining of your lungs and the mucus and then you get congestion and and, um, and so yeah and 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 so that's that's what he's doing to take care, better care of himself. And uh, he also has his own like dispensary where apparently he tests, he has appointed himself the tester of the wheat. So he goes around and he tests the product. Like, I don't know for what, to check if there's poison, to make sure that it's some good shit or whatever. But I, I just thought, I don't know, I was just dying laughing. I think I'll, um, I'm gonna, link one little video here uh, just that I, I found that I thought was really funny but uh, I guess yeah, really that's really great that he's like such a, a deep thinker I I would probably love to smoke pot with Willie Nelson but um, or, or somebody in, in that way like that I mean he he has so much um, wisdom I'm sure and like I said, when people take control of their lives in that those kinds of health conscious ways, really it really can can um, help people live longer, better quality lives. Because uh, of course, it doesn't really seem to matter when we're younger what we we do in that respect. But I think I think that anybody who seriously looks at themselves knows that um, the health practices that you uh, adopt are going to make a huge difference to um, the way that you're going to age and and uh, I guess Willie Nelson knows all this so I just want to tell you guys about how fucking cool Willie Nelson is and um, and again I just wanted to wish everybody um, <laughs> I was gonna say wish everybody happy 420 but then I realized it's still February and I'm at 420 subscribers. So yeah, thanks for stopping by. I'll just probably divide this up into two parts, but uh, I'll talk to you guys later.